Good morning. I hope you're well today. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson, and thank you for joining me for the devotions in the Proverbs. Today is September 30th, 2021, and I'm broadcasting from the United Methodist Church in Safford, Arizona. Wherever you are, if you're listening today, you are welcome to share this with a friend or family member. Today we are on uh, Proverbs 25, verses 25 and 26. And yes, I do take this slowly because there's so much packed into every sentence. So today our, our proverb focus is, like cold water to a weary soul is good news from distant lands. Like a muddied spring or polluted well are the righteous who give way to the wicked. So I want you to just imagine cold water to a weary soul is good news from a distant land. And like muddied spring or polluted well are the righteous who give way to the wicked. Imagine. First of all, imagine being so thirsty and so tired that you can hardly put one foot in front of the other. A tired that goes deep down into your bones and a thirst where the tongue sticks to the roof of your mouth. And yet it's a thirst that cannot be quenched by water, but by a fresh connection and shared stories with a good friend or a family member. Just imagine. Our activity today is um, thinking about where you live and how that living water is available. Now sometimes we call water in a pond or stream living water because it does give life. It gives life to the body. And by all means, drink that and offer that living water, that water from the stream or from the faucet, to someone else. But this living water is different. This is the water that wells up inside you. It's the water of emotion. It's the water of desire. It's a water of friendship and a water of love. And you know as well as I do, when things like that aren't going well, you lose water. The tears that drop from your eyes and the moisture that leaves your body as you sigh in deep regret. As an activity, I'd like you to think about that water, that concrete water, or that that water from the tap that feeds the plants, feeds the grass, feeds the trees, grows our food. Even if it's a meat, the animals need water to grow the grass and the grains and to, to eat. So water is an integral part of each and every one of our lives. So as an activity today, I'd like you to get a nice cold bottle or glass or mug of water and drink it. Wait a couple more hours. Maybe your mouth will be starting to get dry. Drink it again. Maybe midday, you're not sure why you're getting a little headache or you're just not feeling like yourself. Drink another glass of cool fresh water. The water truly revives the body. But we also need a different kind of water. The water of relationship, the water of friendship. That nourishes our heart and our soul and our mind. So as long as we're hydrated and with, with water from the tap, 
our body is functioning well and our mind is sharp. So while your mind is sharp, think about what you can do for someone else. Perhaps you'll bring them some bottled water and that will help their body. But more than that, more important, bring them relationship. Talk to them. Ask them questions about themselves. Find out what is going right in their life and find out how you can be a friend in the places that aren't going quite right. Be, you be like that cool drink of water poured out for a family, friend, or for a relative. Our focus verse today is like a cold water to a weary soul is a good is good news from distant land or good news from a friend or relative. I'm so glad that you joined me today for morning devotions, afternoon devotions or evening devotions whenever you whenever you get on and have the time. I thank you for being present in my life and I appreciate being present in yours. May the Lord bless each and every one of us and keep our faith shining for all to see. Amen.